Welcome to the enchanting world of Eldergrove, where the ice festival breathes life into the town's cobblestone streets. This is a place where shimmering sculptures and twinkling lights transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. The air is crisp, carrying the scent of pine and the sweet aroma of baked goods from the community center. Join us as we delve into the heart of this vibrant celebration, where stories unfold and mysteries beckon. This is chapter one of our tale, and you're listening to Storyteller. Clara stood at the edge of the square, her heart weighed down by the legacy of her mother, Alara, a renowned sculptor. Her long, wavy chestnut hair danced in the breeze, much like her thoughts that seemed to escape her grasp. Clara's bright green eyes, usually filled with creativity, now reflected a storm of emotions. She fidgeted with her oversized sweater, a shield against the biting cold and the scrutiny she felt from the world around her. The townsfolk bustled about, their laughter ringing like bells. Yet Clara felt a chill that had nothing to do with the winter air. Within her, a tempest brewed, a mix of insecurities and unfulfilled expectations. Finn's voice cut through Clara's reverie, his spiky blonde hair catching the light as he bounded over with a mischievous grin. His bright blue eyes and colorful scarf made him a whirlwind of energy, always ready for the next adventure. Finn's playful banter was a bomb to Clara's troubled spirit, and she couldn't help but smile, if only for a moment. Just thinking, Clara replied softly, about everything. Finn's expression softened, sensing the weight on Clara's shoulders. You know, your mom would be proud of you. You're an artist in your own right. But Clara's heart sank further at the thought, as whispers of the townsfolk drifted through the air, discussing the missing sculptor, Owen, whose absence cast a shadow over the festivities. As Finn and Clara wandered through the square, the intricate ice sculptures glimmered under the soft glow of lanterns. Each piece was a testament to the town's history and artistry. Clara's gaze fell upon a particularly striking sculpture, its icy surface reflecting the flickering lights like a mirror to the soul. Do you feel that? Clara asked, her voice barely above a whisper. Finn nodded, his eyes wide with curiosity. The sculpture seemed to pulse with a life of its own, drawing them closer, igniting a spark of intrigue within Clara. What stories lay hidden within the ice? What truths about Owen's disappearance could be uncovered?